We have new developments to report to you tonight in the murder case involving those two California City boys who were reported missing by their adoptive parents more than two years ago. Attorneys representing Trizel and Jacqueline West requested evidence today, including a two-hour interview with one of the couple's other children. In that interview, the child allegedly made a statement the defense counsel says forms the crux of the prosecution's case. Prosecutors allege that Orrin and Orson West were killed about three months before their adoptive parents reported them missing in December of 2020. The boys' bodies have never been found. Attorneys will meet again on February 23rd to go over remaining evidence that has, is not in the possession of defense counsel. And our 17 News Court reporter Jason Gatowski is joining us in studio with more on this case. And Jason, good evening. What did the defense attorneys say they are missing as the trial approaches? Alexia Torres Stallings, she's one of the attorneys representing Jacqueline West. Uh, she spoke at length about a number of pieces of evidence she said they requested months ago and still haven't received. Uh, that includes the uncut two hour interview with the boy that you just mentioned. Um, we're not sure which child this is, but it's long been suspected that at least one or more of the children pay, played a key role uh, in the prosecution's building up a case. Um, that also includes recorded cell phone and email messages taken by uh, Child Protective Services on the case, um, as well as dispatch logs and a surveillance video that uh, Torres Stallings said is referred to in the grand jury report. She said she hasn't seen this video, but that it apparently shows the West boys walking down the street together on the day that they went missing. Now, uh, during the hearing, Torres Stallings didn't say the boys disappeared, didn't say that they went missing. She said they were abducted. Uh, she repeat, repeatedly used the term abducted or abduction in referring to what happened to them. So was anything resolved at today's hearing regarding this missing evidence? Uh, yes, Prosecutor Eric Smith presented uh, Torres Stallings with a disc on which he said were, was all the body camera footage taken during the first week of the boys' disappearance. Um, so that's one of the items that she requested. She said she's gonna go over it and make sure it has everything that they, they asked for regarding that. And uh, Smith said that in the meantime, before the February 23rd meeting, he's gonna go over all the other evidence he has to see uh, re regarding her other requests, if he can provide that in the meantime. And uh, was there any discussion about the upcoming trial? Yes, trial dates have not been set yet. There's a motions hearing coming up on the 1st, but uh, Judge Charles Bremer did mention, uh, did tell the media that we can record, there, there will be cameras allowed both for opening statements and closing arguments and a verdict if there is one. Um, other than that, cameras won't be in the courtroom. He also said the trial will be audio streamed through the court website. Mm. All right, 17 Court Reporter Jason Gatowski, thank you so much. Thank Thanks, you. Cheers.